Hello, my friends. Welcome to something that I'm really, really excited about. Today on Shields Only, I am going to get to do some stuff that I've never done before because I only recently thought it up, and I'm very, very excited. <laughs> there's a, there's going to be a lot going on here. So we are going to get everything prepared for action. Get all of these points distributed the way that I want them. Head on over to the War Council, of course. And then we can take a look at that. We want this. And we don't want the Dark Templar anymore. It's too OP, so we're going to switch on over to the Blood Hunter, which is a lot more fun. And I think that that's all we need. And we are heading not to Slain. We're not going to get the Void Ray. We don't need that. We're going to Raven Scar, where we barely have any air forces, and we're going to get the carrier, which is not going to be a good unit. <laughs> Pretty willing to bet some money on that one. Haven't tried it, but I'm <laughs> not super, super convinced yet. Oh, this is going to be audacious. This is going to be, if it works, it's going to be so, so cool. I have a couple strats here. Not just one, but a plethora of strats that I've been thinking about. One for each of the main objectives. First off, we have to rush. There is no other option. We gotta go fast. And that is uh, gonna be okay, because the enemies, they go crazy with banshees and battlecruisers and stuff as time goes on. If we wait too long, we simply don't have the ability to hold. Okay, we're going to push this way. We're going to use one disruption web. And we take this down. They kind of mess up in the D-web. And then we're going to drop another one for safety. And just try to make sure that we don't lose any of these guys. And we need to start producing. I think we need a forge in order to build the first set of things that I need. Then we can go for a robo and a robo for the second set of things. And we can grab all this money over here and we're gonna be sitting decently economically at the beginning. Oh, there's some money to the left as well that I can get. That'll be nice. And then we're gonna chill. I'm really excited about this. I, <laughs> I really should have tested beforehand, but I wanted to do it live because you know, it's way cooler if you do it right on your first time, right? Uh, I guess this isn't live, it's a recording, but... We're gonna, we're gonna make mistakes, we're gonna learn, and we're going to come up with something really cool, I think, in the long term. But first off, I need to prepare to expand. And my plan to do that is with a stuck probe. My plan to do that is with monoliths. Uh, let's take this down. drop this right here. We don't really have the money for more monoliths yet, so I was thinking about the expansions, and they're real tough. <laughs> Usually, it's pretty easy to clear up here. However, we would probably get torn asunder if we tried to actually manually push up here, which means instead, we have to just utilize, I think, some cannons. I think cannonigans is the right answer. Let's get a photon cannon right here. Then we need a little escape tube for our probes. So that they can live in the middle. And then I think that monoliths with batteries are going to be able to hopefully secure the area when working with the disruption webs and the carriers. Remember that losing interceptors to tank is not actually the worst thing. They're never going to do much damage. However, they still are 40 shields for free. They do not cost anything to rebuild interceptors in this version of the game. And that is where our plan begins. So we're going to move up here. We're going to try to... T oh yeah, that guy's stuck. Oh, I should have waited. Oh gosh, Amon's on the way too. I'm an idiot. This is a bad timing. It's just Banshees. We can send these guys up here. And then... Wow, that monolith got... Okay. That didn't even... Like... It barely felt like the battery healed it. Oh, no. 
That's, um... Not the start that I was hoping to see. We'll do our best over here. We can drop the D-webs to keep everything nice and safe. Okay, he's fine. Keep going, keep going. Hey, this monolith is helping. And we need to just relax here for a bit. There is money down there that I need. However, I can't get it just yet. Oh, man. We're going to have to rebuild this one. Oh, it has to go all the way around. Shield batteries regenerate the carriers, and then we can start pushing down here. It's mostly ground stuff here, which means we can take down the turrets. These goliaths are very dumb. They could just walk out. But nobody's going to tell them that. Get all this money. And then start producing our favorite military units. They're just great on this mission. Karax, we are having difficulty repelling the hybrid on the Spear of a Doom. Have you located Is that worth it? Chambers? Okay, I have too much gas. Two this is going to sound... Oh, yeah. I can't finish the pylon there. Of course. <laughs> because it has no HP. That was a mistake. So one of the reasons that we're going here before we're going to Slain is because you get plus three attack when you finish this mission. You get the laser ultimate. I'm probably not going to use time stop. Because once again, it's one of those abilities that's just too darn good. But... I think that uh, if we get plus three upgrades, we get the laser beam ultimate, we're gonna have a much better time against the Taldorim. Because before that, it's just awful. Oh, here comes an attack wave. We gotta save this guy. I think this guy's already dead. I think that before the laser shot... You know what? Let's uh, try to get the start of the laser on top of the Banshees. Man, shield batteries are so much better in multiplayer. <laughs> multiplayer version would have saved that. Oh, that's so sad. They only have 100 shields. Okay, we actually need to put a cannon here to soak the shots for the monolith. For some reason, I thought that the monolith was going to be bulkier than that, but I should have known better. Right? How could I ever think something so naive? So we're going to mine out this area, and then we're going to take a very large excursion. One thing we can do that is probably going to be worth it here is... Nah. Are they going to target this down? I was just... I'm scared of this pylon dying, but there's no way. They're going to go for this instead. Because if they have shockwave missile batteries, which I believe they do, they're going to come down... And shockwave here, which is going to be bad for the monolith. <laughs> now, that I, now that I think about it, but whatever, monolith, shmonolith. I think we're going to get attacked again soon, and we're going to have to hold it off. I know it feels like we haven't done much, but we're actually pretty close to going ballistic. We need to get the rest of our tech structures, though. So we're going to get that right there. And then... I don't think we need shield upgrades. Not today. We'll get one more of these, and then we're about to head on out. I'm, As I said, I'm just waiting for that attack wave. It is sure to appear, and I need to keep these Corsairs alive. They're very important. This must seem so stupid. Like, just looking at this. <laughs> you gonna die? Let's see if there's anything following. Now we're good. Alright, time to move. Like, just trying to look at it from people's perspective. It's like, why is he making vanguards and energizers? 
a dark shrine without making any dark templar <laughs> just has to keep the, the important unit to keep alive is the coarse hair it's like yeah of course duh that makes perfect sense okay we gotta be careful to not lose anything here this is gonna pull guys isn't it i hope it doesn't doesn't seem like it's going to actually we're gonna leave the carriers right here and we're gonna pull down this is another part of the strat that I just thought of. <laughs> now we're at the first objective. I'm going to recall because this gives a 200 point shield. The monoliths are going to start and then we're going to try to hit all of these guys as best as we can. Uh, we're going to deweb and we're going to deweb. Pull these back, pull everybody into the monoliths and I think we're about ready to grab this yeah perfect <laughs> this worked better than I thought it would this is awesome okay take this guy down we have not very many not very many interceptors we can keep throwing interceptors at the problem oh there's a tank down there well as long as it doesn't kill our guys it's fine and there's some stuff over here we gotta grab. Build a couple more vanguards, because why not? Eat as many as we can get. Okay, we need to pull back in and actually get our interceptors going. This is phenomenally successful. <laughs> no one, let nobody tell you different. We're going to have to get some more gateways in a sec, too. Oh, this is crazy. We'll get our pylon here. And then this is a big old attack wave that we can zappity zappity. That is fine. Okay, this battle cruiser takes a damage per interceptor shot. Not great. Start building a couple Corsairs, and then we're going to need, like, three or four gateways. Can we take this out? Because it's really been in my way. Grab a D-Web right here, just to turn the bunker off. And we can get this auto gas. Machine gun that down. And this whole area... No! That's bad. Oh, I thought he had his ability. Retreat this one. Everything here is mine. Objective going down. We get... Oh, there's another siege tank. No, we're just gonna... We're gonna focus on other stuff for now. Like the gateways. And defending. The power core is destroyed to take our amazing army and put it right over here. Excellent work, Smith. Because it's so amazing that it's never going to go on the platform again. And then... Probably two more gateways, right? Yeah, you think that's reasonable? Thank you. I think it's reasonable. Can we kill this guy and grab the minerals? Because I still need more of those. It's weird. We're almost done. I know it doesn't feel like it. Uh -oh. Big flank attack. Okay, we gotta make sure we're hitting the BCs. You can do it, Mr. Photon Can- Oh, you're already dead. Hey, but he saved the monolith! That's all we needed! What a guy. I'm so proud of him. Oh, we're being battle cruised. Cruising for bruising. Alright. So, first things first, I'm not getting the bonuses here. Doesn't matter because we don't need... Because I'm not using time warp, it's not like we need it for the ultimate anytime, and solar bombardment is just worse than the particle beam. So, whatever. That is fine, and it doesn't let me... 
doesn't let me do the stuff that we need to do here. So some sacrifices have to be made. That's just a fact of life. Carrier died, doesn't matter. All right, let's go. This is so stupid. <laughs> Uh, move left. You guys are going to go all the way over here. We're going to bring the stuff up next. And I'm going to show you guys the new tech that I discovered a while ago. That's really cool. I hope it works. Okay. Does it go this way? And then we recall. Oh, it didn't bring them all. Well, that's not ideal. Um. So, if you recall when it's right here, it puts them right here. And I've been looking for a reason to use this for so long, it apparently doesn't bring them all. <laughs> no, I only figured it out with one unit. No! Wait, is it going to work? Yes! Vanguards! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We can go in now. We can go in. <laughs> Vanguards are so good. Oh, I love that strat. I've been sitting on that one for quite a while. <laughs> Just never had a point that I could use it. Oh, that's awesome. It worked first try. <laughs> we just bring these guys over here. This is fine. Uh, here's the other strat that I learned is that if you, this was for blindfolded, if you just bring your stuff over here, warp in a pylon, they will be like, oh, cool pylon, and then, uh, shoot, I have no minerals. Uh, we're fine. I'm pretty sure we win right here. Because what's going to happen is we go boom, boom, boom. They have no detection, and they can't kill it. They would bring a detector unit. However, however, this is not on the same team as these guys. It's the same name, but I believe it is not the same team. So it doesn't send out the, oh, we're being hit by a cloaked thing. Please send help. However, if you hit the turret, it will bring over ravens and vessels. But we have the blood hunter. So ideally, if you get four of them in because you actually have the minerals, you just perma void stasis it as you kill it. And then you recall out like a boss. <laughs> Dude. We, 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 we tower rushed one. <laughs> We did recall Vanguard tactics, and then we did the Corsair dive blood hunter thing. Honestly, I'm really happy with the way that all of that went. I think that was three very unique and super cool ways to take down that mission, and I am very proud of the dis or of the strategies I came up with. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.